Hey Pisces and welcome to your tarot love readings for the one who loves you or perhaps the one that you love here Pisces. Um, we are going to take a look at the messages here in relation to love and romance. Um, as always guys, these messages are general so please keep that in mind throughout the reading. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with, with myself, I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Pisces Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and for those of you that may be cross-watching as well. So let's take a look at the messages here Pisces for you. Who is the one that loves you? What can we learn about them, their love for you here? Okay, you've got the King of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands, the Moon here, and the World as well. This person is not sure, actually. They're not sure of their emotions. This person... No, actually. It's not that they're unsure of their... Well, they are unsure of their emotions for you, their emotions and the feelings that they feel for you. But it's a little less to do with you, he Pisces, and more to do with them. Um, it feels like this person, the attraction started very strong. When you guys connected, you connected on a very deep, on a very soulful level here. Um, a lot of physical attraction, maybe a very strong sexual chemistry or sexual energy here. I'm picking up between the two of you. And maybe for some of you, you know, it started out primarily based on uh, these kind of emotions, those type of feelings. The was or there still is so much more beneath the surface here Pisces um, however for some of you I feel like the one who loves you isn't necessarily or the one that you love isn't necessarily in your life something he might have ended between the two of you perhaps it is a chapter perhaps it is um, you know the two of you have decided to end the connection maybe you guys have parted drifted apart faded apart from one another something here has happened because with the world card I'm you know I'm seeing um, this connection sort of ending for you However, Pisces, you're deeply intuitive here, and I can feel that you sense, Pisces, that this isn't over for you, not just yet. Things end all the time so that something new can begin again, or so that the, those, you know, that very connection or those very emotions can begin again in a new way for you. Now, I feel very strongly that this person is uncertain, or perhaps you were uncertain about them or about the nature of the connection or where this is going. Um, if you pulled away Pisces, considering the, the uncertainty uh, surrounding this person's energy, I feel like it was a good move on your part, purely because when someone is unsure of you, that's probably a good time to stick, to take a step back away from the person, away from the connection, um, and evaluate. Okay, because I did mention at the start of the spread that I'm seeing this is less to do with you, Pisces, this uncertainty and this, you know, not being able to sort of um, label their emotions. So notice the duality with the moon card. I feel like this is someone who was hot and cold. So someone who came on very strong, um, very quickly, especially with the king in uh, king of wands in reverse. But then they retracted. They pulled back. Something happened. It, it, no, it wasn't anything that you said, Pisces. It wasn't anything that you did. It wasn't the subtext of your context or of your conversations. Again, it, has, it is more to do with them, Pisces, because I'm seeing that this person... They were always in two minds, even before they met you. Because I feel like this person is open to romance or they're open to wanting a relationship. But as soon as the real thing comes along, I feel like this person retracts. So they pull back. They frighten. They pull back. Um, I'm seeing some insecurities that reside within this person. Okay, And I'm also seeing that this is something that they're going to have to work on in order to pursue a connection with you. So again, Pisces, I just want to really uh, you know, drive this home that... This person, um, it feels like it feels like their uncertainties are consuming them. That's what I'm seeing. And I feel like that's the very reason why this person isn't acting on their emotions or is pulling away from their emotions. You know, when one individual is, confu is uncertain in a relationship, it confuses the other individual. So um, I'm not sure whose energy is who here because it is a general reading. If you're the one that is uncertain, then your romantic interest would be confused, or, you know, or vice versa here. But I am seeing that this person is... 
they're not uncertain about you, Pisces. They're uncertain about themselves here, okay? And that's due to the fears, insecurities that this person is dealing with internally and emotionally. Wow, okay. You've got justice in reverse, the high priestess and the devil card. So the one who loves you here. You feel as though... You feel as though this is unfair. This is what I'm getting, Pisces. The energy I'm getting is, why can't you find love? Why can't you love and be loved in return? Why isn't this happening for you? You know, you've had, why aren't things going the way that you've envisioned? I'm getting this. It's not that you're playing the victim. I just feel like you're asking some very deep and personal questions about yourself. You know, you feel as though finally you've met someone who has the traits and the characteristics of a partner that you know you've always wanted and then something he didn't necessarily work out for you you feel as though this person was very unfair or is very unfair perhaps you feel as though this person might have disrespected you was dishonest with you here or is someone who's avoiding taking accountability for their emotions for you know their hand in how things unfolded here you're sensing you're sensing you've been wronged here or that their actions have caused you pain here. Okay. Um, just as he points to the King of Wands, which I feel like is their energy, because I feel like this is their energy. I mean, it, it could be yours, so take it as it applies to you. But to me, it feels like it's time for this individual to take accountability for their actions. It's time. Okay. And, you know, the, the, the High Priestess here, You've got the high priestess and you've got the devil. Wow. I feel like this person has a lot of issues that they're working with. Or perhaps this is you. You know, there's a lot of... Um, there could be residues from a past relationship or a past hurt that I feel like this person is still dealing with. Um, there could be fears of emotional intimacy here. Um, I'm getting some sort of fears, anxieties or insecurities that this person I feel like is avoiding confronting here. It's like they want something with you, Pisces. They want you, but their actions seem to indicate otherwise. Or, you know, they come on very strong and then they pull back. Again, I just want to harken back to this person is not sure. Then It's not that they're not sure of themselves. It's not that they're not sure of the connection. It's... Uh, sorry, it's not that they're unsure of you or their connection. It's that they are unsure of themselves, you Pisces. And as a result... It's sort of, you know, their uncertainty he is mirroring um, around you. I do see that the one who loves you, he is going to come forward this month. It's hard to say when exactly. It's hard to, you know, I'll try and pinpoint a more specific time. But I feel like you will have a conversation of some sort here where I feel like this person is going to open up to you here. Something that they say, I feel like, will give you a glimpse into who they really are or how they really feel about you here. Especially with the High Priestess here in reverse. Um, they'll share with you, I'm seeing that they'll share with you some sort of secret or they'll share with you something very powerful here. It's also, for some of you watching this, Pisceans, this is, I mean... I feel like the, the message, the, the takeaway here is to use your intuition here when it comes to this connection or when it comes to the one you love. Because the one you love isn't necessarily with you. That's not to say they don't love you back, but they're not necessarily with you. And just because things aren't exactly working out right now, it doesn't mean that they won't work out in the future. Okay, because the one who, the one you love loves you, but I feel like there's just some emotional blockages on their end here. And I do see them coming forward, sharing with you a secret or sharing with you something very powerful that I feel like will have the ability to transform um, your connection, to transform where you guys are at right now. Okay, so, you know, um, we need to remind ourselves that the High Priestess is someone who, you know, she's the guardian of intuition. Okay, so... The message here is to trust your feelings. Trust your feelings when it comes to love and romance. If something doesn't feel right or if you feel like, okay, you know, this person may love you or, you know, but they're just 
have a funny way of expressing it or they're just not good when it comes to you know um, expressing themselves you need to trust your feelings because this relationship will potentially become more difficult if you sort of ignore that intuition or if you don't follow your conscious mind here and same goes for them as well um, now with the devil in reverse here the devil in reverse and it's looking up to the world Pisces, you're going to be, I'm not sure why, but I feel like you're going to be reclaiming your control, your sense of freedom here. I'm seeing you. This person has a very strong hold on you. And even if you don't want to admit it here, Pisces, I can see that this person has a very strong hold on you here. Um, you feel somehow, you feel like you're a slave to their love, uh, to their attraction here. To the, you feel like a, you're a slave to them. You, it's almost like you can't get enough of them. They've consumed you here, Pisces. This is very dangerous only because I feel like they're intoxicating you here. And I'm not sure if... When you're in their presence, I'm not sure if you're ever sober, Pisces, because this person has a strong hold on you. However, something he is releasing you. It's almost like they're pushing some sort of eject button. Something he is releasing you from this individual. You know, sometimes you have to set free the people or the things you love. I know it's cliche, but if they come back to you, they're yours. If not, perhaps they were never meant to be. You can still love someone and let them go, right? Okay, let's see what else is coming in here. Wow, I mean, you've got a lot of a lot of cards in reverse here. Okay, the King of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. I see something's not working out here, at least right now. You know, the, the reading is based on the current energies that are being emitted here. With the King of Cups, you feel like you're losing control over their, over your emotions. Again, I feel like that's a dangerous place to be, Pisces, because you are a vast sea, you know, you're, you're a vast sea of emotions here. Um, the King of Cups in reverse tells me that, you know, it's you need to get a better handle here. On your emotions, you need to manage your emotions here. Don't let them overwhelm you. Don't let them consume you here. With the Ten of Swords, you guys may be separated. You guys may not be talking. You guys may even be ignoring each other or blocking each other. But this is not the end, okay? There is a pause. There is a beat. But this is not the end. I feel like the story continues here. Because um, the Ten of Swords in reverse, it's to me, it's... You're hurting by this. You're hurting by the fact that this person isn't loving you the way you want to be loved. You're hurting by the fact that, um, you know, you know you can give this person so much, but for some reason they're not seeing it here, Pisces. They're not seeing just how much you've got to offer here. It's, um, you're hurting here, okay? But you will heal from this hurt. So if it's pain, rejection, betrayal, whatever hurt it is that you're feeling here, Pisces, you will heal this month. Um, perhaps they themselves will help you through this healing process here there is also a lesson to be learned throughout this connection is what i'm seeing there is some sort of lesson here um in it for you there's a terrible stillness to this card as well a very like it's an eerie still, uh, stillness to this tarot card um You're on your way towards healing. So whether it is the pain that you're going to heal from this relationship or whether this is the relationship itself, or perhaps the both of you are going to heal each other and then come together. You know, convergence is what I'm seeing here. Um, anger, despair, a lot of anger, a lot of despair. Um, don't be angry here, especially with the King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Because you've had expectations. I get a Pisces. You've had expectations and things didn't work out according to your expectations. I get that. And this is, you know, where anger sort of um, comes up. I get that. But, you know, this isn't the end. It's the end if you want it to be the end. But I feel like there, there still may be feelings of anger and despair, but it's important for you to recognize. Because they're coming from a deep place within you. And I feel like it's from some sort of hurt from a hurt or from an emotional disappointment that I feel like you need to recover from and you will recover from. You've got the three of pentacles here, but it's also in reverse. Um, right now, I feel like you guys are, 
it's unfortunate because from what I'm seeing, it's like you guys, I don't know what it is. It's like you are perfect for one another. You are, if you came together and cooperated with one another, I feel like this would work. And I feel like this would be a wonderful connection here. But for some reason, for one reason or another, and I feel like it's more to do with internal issues or residues here, um, that it's not happening. It's like, it's a lack of coming together. It's like, um, there's also a clash of egos. Maybe both of you are alphas in the connection here. But it's almost like, yeah, I'm seeing a clash of egos or I'm seeing like, you guys for some reason aren't coming together. Not just yet. You're not cooperating. I do feel like this month here, you will get an opportunity to sort of recover, um, whether it's individually or together as, um, as a couple here. To sort of recover from from where you guys are at right now. Okay, because the emotions, there's a lot of emotions in the spread here. They're not necessarily good ones too. Anger, hope, uh, well, anger, hope, despair, um, pain, betrayal, lust, attraction, um, possible love as well. Um, but it seems like those emotions aren't translating into action. Okay, if you guys, like, wow, imagine if you sort of invested all of those emotions into action. I mean, you guys would be worlds, leaps and bounds ahead from where you are right now. But that's okay, Pisces. To everything, there is a season and this too shall pass. And there you have it, the one who loves you or the one you love, Pisces. Thank you guys for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. Um, for those of you that are interested in personal tarot spread, feel free to reach out. I will be sharing with you more general tarot love readings, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time and your attention. Greatly appreciated. Bye for now.